Hi guys, Pam Neighbors here again. Um, today we're going to talk a little bit about some of the things that I've been hearing from students. Um, as you know that we train scalp micropigmentation and we've got a variety of different classes that we're offering now and one of the things that I am getting asked a lot is new people coming into the field, um, new girls from permanent cosmetics, some people from the tattoo side of it, and they're asking the question, um, what is the difference between density and SMP or scalp micropigmentation? So I just thought I should clear that up because um, I do a lot of density treatments. Density is primarily um, creating the illusion of thicker hair in people who are thinning. So when women's hair is thinning and we're going in and doing the impressions in between the hair follicles that are there, we're, we're making it look like we're increasing the count. So it gives them the look of thicker, fuller hair. Where is scalp macropigmentation is someone who's bald. So it's our balding males, our alopecia clients, where there's a total absence of hair. And now we're replicating stubble. So even though they both fall into the category of scalp micropigmentation, one is a bald head, and we're creating that shadow that looks like a five o'clock shadow. The other one is just creating the look of density. So density can be females, it can be males who've had a hair transplant, say, and maybe they don't have quite the count that they want. They need it to look thicker and fuller. Density treatments are for people that have diffuse thinning, but they have an even scattering of hair. Because as I've described to many of my clients, when you have hair in one place, it has texture and dimension, it sticks up. When you have a bald spot next to it, now we've got two different surfaces. We can't match this. So as density clients, we can go in between and make it look thicker and fuller, but the balding clients, we have to create all of that ourselves. And this hair needs to be cut down short because what we do is we match stubble. So even though they are both considered scalp micropigmentation, density is for people that have hair and we're making it fill in. The scalp miss, what, what you know is SMP for balding is where we create the illusion of, a, of an eight o'clock shadow or replicating stubble. So there you go. You can do either one or you can do both. We've got classes that teach both. So there are people that only want to do one or the other and that's fine. Whereas there's some people that have, that cover both sides of it, but there's more than enough need on both sides of that for any of you that are interested in training in scalp micropigmentation. So thanks for joining me today. Um, if you want to post in the comments, know that this channel is here. I'm starting to build this for you. If you've got questions, I don't know what they are unless you ask me. So fill it in the comments and join us for the next one. Thanks.